You've been working though. Since you came home, you went back in that studio. Uh, how was it like getting back in that studio for the first time? It was weird because I still <laughs> had my like my, I knew my flow was there, but I still had that loud ass raspy. Oh, like I remember the first song I made, like oh that's hard. But I can actually say I ain't made no duds since I've been home. But you can see the the growth. You can see from when I came on the halfway house to now. You can see now, like, I, I could fuck a beat up, but now it's like, oh, he make love to the beat. It's two different things now. I done, I done matured. Mm-hmm. Nah, that's lit. Yeah. So, with you be at home, with you dropping new music, new videos, uh, I feel like you ended the year with a bang. You did a big toy drive, yeah. uh, giving back uh, to the kids. What yeah. made you decide to do that this year? I always wanted to do that. That was something I said in prison. That's something I really want to do. Like, I, I always wanted to be a philanthropist. Like, that's just something just because kids, like, they ain't never asked to be here. So, like, when you make a kid, like, man, when I was down there, man, them kids really like, can I get a hug? They thought I was Santa. And I'm like, damn, that's lie. But and you it, was dressed up in a Santa suit. Man, and then the reaction, like, I just, I always wanted to, like, I'm a giver. When I was in prison, like, I, I know I keep bringing it up, but everything I'm doing, I really, like, spoke it to fruition. But I love giving back. Because it don't hurt me. She, I, I want them to smile. Shout out to my brother, Highway. Me and brother, BPMG, Team Pedigree. Like, it just, I love giving. We doing something else. I'm trying to go to schools and speak, too. Like, what you be on, like, because I know you've listened to me. Damn, bro, them little young niggas really listen to me. Mm -hmm. So I know I know I can change a nigga life. Man. I know I can. Because nowadays, you got a lot of kids that's from Everston. You know, yeah. there's been a lot of stuff going on um, in the news. And man, man, so what, is it, what does it look like, like for you being from Everston and being one of the OGs, maybe you could say. You know what I mean? Like yeah. being one of them. You been, you been up and around man. there, did everything they done already. What they trying to do, you done been there, done that. I done did it. Uh, what's something that you would say to the upcoming youth about, you know, just, just what's going on right now? Like, learn how to think first. Everything start with a thought. If you can think it, you can achieve it. Like, I know people hear that, but, like, that shit real. Like, like and I say break, like, write shit down if you don't remember it. Because if you write something down, you're always going to see it, you're always going to remember it. And I do that. I do that a lot. But, like, just stay focused. I know everybody say that a lot, but, like, when you really want something, think it. Like right? everything you think about, really gonna come to fruition. I promise, man. And consistency and work for that shit. Yeah. Don't nothing come overnight. That easy shit, prison, man. You guarantee prison or death, man. Like that's just what that shit is, man. So you know, sometimes the easy route ain't always what it is. Take the hard route. You appreciate it more. Mm-hmm. And. Outside of just um, you giving back to, you also were a part of uh, our showcase that I oh, do yeah. it for Ohio oh, yeah, for uh, sure, showcase. Uh, we did it at Prestige and you performed and got to do interviews and things like that. What was that experience like for you? What did you What did you think about that showcase? I liked it that I got new fans because of that showcase and like it let me know like like people damn motherfuckers like motherfuckers fucked with me. Like I had people walking up on me like and they was just. It was my voice, it was my presence. Like you could tell motherfuckers like, damn bro. And then like everybody that was there down there started following me. And if you ain't know who I am, you know who I was after that night. Like, mm -hmm. damn, cause I remember when I was performing. I remember the bar, bartenders even stopped. And it was just, you know, motherfuckers like, damn, who was that? I know, you know, I'm still learning how to perform because my stage presence is a motherfucker, but it's still learning how to play with my voice and <gasps> sometimes, you know, just breathe. Mm -hmm. I be trying to like, like, what? <laughs> that motherfucker trying to do the whole song. But I love that experience and I appreciate you for that. And all them blogs, I had all of them up. I'm going on all they shit. Yeah, that's Tattoo. what it was for. Hell yeah, yeah. They, know, they know bread bag coming, man. Hey, you know how you coming and you coming hard, man. I think you got a really good story um, as well. I think uh, it all lines up and I think it all makes sense uh, yeah. from the music to everything else. Like, it, it's all lining up. So, what else? You know, it's 2022. Man, first what quarter. else you got coming up? Well, I got a mixtape coming probably in like May. Wi-Fi to the streets. Right now, I'm just dropping singles and videos. Like I got social sites out right now. Uh, and then I got, I'm doing another video when we leave here called Washing Clothes. I got another video dropping for Valentine's Day. And then I, I got videos on deck. I got like 10 videos. I'm just throwing out. And I'm going to be on 411 10 times. And then I got a, uh, I'm just branding myself for real. Like that toy drive was a great look for my uh, brand. I'm doing that more. Trying to get back to the community more. Like, and we doing, uh, Still finish training. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just all over the place. I got a lot of hats that I'm working, but my main focus this year is to put B BPMG in a different light. 
Like I want everybody to know, like this shit real from the ground up. Like mm-hmm. I'm my CEO, oh, and and, I, cool. and I'm and I'm working and I'm pushing, and, and, and like I just want artists to know too. Like I'm signing this shit eventually, but like if a, if, if a person don't own themselves, I ain't rocking with them. And that means if you don't own your name, your music, I can't fuck with you. Cause that let me know you ain't serious. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And 2020, I'm modeling. I'm doing mad shit this year. I'm doing mad shit. I got a newborn be here in May. Little Shia, my daughter Shy Shy, had a little girl on the way. So I'm like, right. I'm ready to be a new father again. Yeah. I'm ready to do. I can't ready to do all that. That's exciting though. What? That's man, exciting. I kiss that belly every night, Nella D. I love that shit, man. Like, and it be like now, like making that connection. Like, cause my daughter, when I put my hand on the belly and I say something, certain shit I say, she get the kicking. And I'd be like, damn, she got already coming into the. But she coming into a world where like her daddy got her. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, the 2022 big though. BPMG gonna be heard everywhere. Yeah, I don't give a sure. fuck. If you cooking toast, making cereal, making love, man, you gonna hear Brian Bay Jones. We got to. Period. Well, you know Period. what? We supporting right here at 401 Uncut. Yeah, you know, we gang. So every time you drop that new content, the Come new on. videos, all that stuff you're talking about, we going to make sure we promote it right here at 411 Uncut. Thank you so Thank much you, uh, for oh, stopping man. through today, man. I really like your story. I like what you got going on. Keep your foot on their neck all 2022 and after that. Period. Got you. And when I put my foot on their neck, I'm going to keep the shoe right there. Hey. Pray it back.